The 2024 Genesis G70, a proper sedan that got some excellent changes for the 2024 model year. So let's go through it and let's talk about it. The biggest change is going to be with the base powertrain. The base engine is now going to be the two and a half liter turbo four cylinder that we see in vehicles like the G80, GV70, and the GV80. And this engine produces 300 horsepower and 311 pounds feet of torque. And compared to the previous two liter turbo four, this now produces an extra 48 horsepower. So now the sedan is offering the most standard power in the class. They've also made the Brembo performance brakes as standard across the entire lineup, which is great because you really had to go up the food chain to get the Brembo brakes. Now they just made that standard and I really appreciate that. Now you still have the excellent 3.3 liter twin turbo V6 available and that's exactly what I recommend if you're going to be purchasing one of these cars. It just completes the experience and towards the end of this video I'll talk about why it's worth getting this engine and what kind of deals that you can expect. We also have some subtle interior changes as well, one of which some of you may not appreciate and that's going to be the touch type climate control display and this is very similar to what we've seen in other new Genesis products like the G90, the GV70, etc. Honestly it works okay but of course I do prefer the physical buttons and switches but Genesis did a decent job with this and you can expect that in this 2024 G70. The vehicle I'm showing to you on the screen is of a 2022 G70 because the overall styling hasn't really changed that much and the interior changes are very subtle. But another thing you're getting is the frameless rear view mirror and I always appreciate seeing that in luxury cars. It's definitely an elegant touch and we also have some slightly different designs for some of these switches. We also have uh, new patterns for the door, the console, the air vents, the cup holders, and the key fob. All of these things get a subtle redesign as well. And regarding the interior colors, they are giving us two-tone color options. We have the obsidian black with the fog gray, and we also have obsidian black with vanilla beige. So that's everything with the interior. They also gave us new convenience and safety features, including USB-C charging and rear side airbag as standard equipment. And if you happen to care, they also have some subtle updates with the digital key system, which I'm sure everyone is gonna be excited about implanting that into their hands in the future, but that's a topic for another day. A more important topic is, yeah, these 2024 changes are truly excellent. I really appreciate what this company has done with the sedan and these new changes take it to the next level. It just makes it a much better value proposition than what it already was quite frankly but the deals are going to be with the 2023 g70 because as of right now genesis has not shared pricing on the 2024 model year i'm sure there's probably a subtle increase in price and the destination but when i spec'd out a 2023 pretty much fully loaded g70 with a 3.3 liter engine and rear wheel drive it came out to be $51,000 with destination and that's really not bad especially with that powerful upgraded v6 if you want similar thrust with the german competitors you can expect to pay over ten thousand dollars more so somewhere in the realm of 60 to sixty-five thousand dollars for things like audi s5s and bmw m340is and if you want all-wheel drive with the g70 just add an additional twenty one hundred dollars so around 53k and you got yourself a fully loaded g70 with all-wheel drive and i also have a free leasing calculator linked in the description box of this video brought to you by auto companion and when i input some numbers a zero down lease assuming you have perfect credit it's going to be about 657 dollars a month and this is assuming you get a five percent discount off of msrp and that's something you definitely want to get because after all, this is a luxury car. It is going to crash in terms of its resale value. So definitely make sure you get at least 5% off MSRP. And the best part is as of right now in October of 2023, the interest rate on a G70 lease is only 1.6%. Now leasing programs change every month, which is why I'm linking the calculator in the description box so you can check it out at any time. And what a low interest rate lease means is all the payments that you're making, it's pretty much going towards the equity of the vehicle. Whereas if you just straight up finance the car, 
your interest rates are probably going to be over 5%. And not to mention, the most dangerous thing about financing cars is the way banks front load the interest. So your initial payments that you make, it's not really going towards the equity of the vehicle. You're just paying the interest that the banks front loaded on the loan. And this is why so many people end up underwater on their cars, especially luxury cars. So when you lease it, you can make those payments. It's actually going towards the equity. And then if you want to, you can buy out the car at the end of the lease. That's what I suggest with these low interest rate leases. But anyway, you can do your own research on that. I'll leave this linked below. I think there is some type of loyalty slash conquest incentive that you can qualify for. But if you're actually interested in one of these cars, you can talk to your local dealership and inquire about that. The changes that we saw for the new model year, it's primarily to do with the base model vehicles or the entry level cars. They're now getting the more powerful four cylinder as standard with the Brembo brakes. But as I mentioned before, I think going with a 3.3 liter fully loaded models, I think that's the best way of enjoying these cars. And when you do that, you're just naturally getting the best engine. You're already getting the best Brembo brakes and all the great features, the Lexicon audio and exquisite interior space. So it's cool that the base model cars get some of that now. But as we can see with the pricing, the fully loaded model, this is great for a little over 50K. But leave your thoughts below in the comment section. I would really like to hear your thoughts on this new G70. If you're an owner, let us know how the car has been holding up for you. Another thing, it is imperative that you find a high quality Genesis dealership to work with, because if you don't, getting warranty work done and getting loaner cars and the service just is not going to be great unless you go for an amazing dealership. So just do your due diligence, do some serious Google searching in your area and look at all the reviews. So that's the last bit of advice I want to leave you with. Thanks again for watching, take care, and goodbye.